Ladies and gentlemen, we just lost. Not big boy coming. This is the downside whenever we're leaving the farmhouse, y'all. We gotta gotta handle this little situation. You know it ain't easy doing this with an 18 wheeler. But we got this, we got this, we got this. What is going on? What is going on? You too. What is going on? What is going on? You too. Damn it, boy. What is going on? Woo! Hey, happy 4th of July to all the six people that tap in on the live. I appreciate y'all tapping in on the live, baby. I appreciate y'all tapping in on the live. Uh, like I tried to break down yesterday, you know, it was hosted by Church and Fan. You know, we out here, we country folk, damn it. We country folk out here, you know? So, you know, we are, uh, you, you know, all the, a lot of the things out here is going to be for a reason, you know? Religious reasons or, or whatever, or somebody trying to, you know, maybe have an, a, a cattle auction. So, you know, they put a little event together to get people to come together, you did. So that's all that was, man. Anyway, to all, once again, man, to all the veterans out here, man, because of you, you know, because of people like you, is why, um, is why we celebrate the 4th of July, is why we celebrate Veterans Day, so I appreciate that. But yeah, we left the house, man. We left the house. We got in. When did we get in? We got at the crib on Saturday, Saturday morning, because... If I remember correctly, the load I delivered on Friday wasn't going to come clutch. So, I delivered it, and then by the time I was unloaded, I was damn near, I didn't have no hours I spent. All Friday came through Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, three days at the creek, four days that in bed. So now we're back to rolling, getting to the money, getting to the money. Another day, as yours truly. <laughs> the cripple kid trying to get to the money, you two. We trying to get to the money. Um, I, I've said it before, you know, the, the farmhouse right by 59. So that's the good thing, man. That's the good thing. It's right by 59. And, um. You know, I just I just get I do that little half a mile on the county road, hit the main road, and can start keeping pushing. There's a house right there, a big mother house right there, y'all. That house I want to get so bad, but not that one. Okay, maybe y'all miss the whole thing, but there's a big ass one right there, right? So that house come 100 acres, right? Ever since we moved down here on the on the, on the, the property we rent, I I've been notified by that house. The house come with 100 acres, and I think the thing is like a six bed. It's massive, bro. It's, it's huge. It's got to be a five or six bedroom house, and they're only asking $600,000 at the time. So we've been here. We've been in the farmhouse about five, six months now. At the time, they were only 600, 600K was what they were asking. Well, you know, my credit ain't there yet. You know, you get land like that, man. It's, it's beautiful out here, man. I can't tell y'all no lie. I, I ain't cap. Oh, boy, it's hella beautiful, man. Beautiful, 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 man. So this is what I want, man. Some of y'all can keep that city lifestyle. Now, now, obviously, you know, there's certain things I'm trying to put together. I'm talking to certain people about certain things. If that comes to fruition, then, yeah, you know, we're willing to keep put the desired lifestyle on hold for a couple years. You know what I'm saying? But ooh, shit! All right. So here's the downside about this country ass roads. I just dodge a turtle, man. This this little turtles don't have very good survival instincts, man. And sometimes I feel bad. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I feel bad that humans have came pay the damn highway and what used to be the habitat. I feel bad. I just dodge a turtle, man. Like, that's one thing I want to thank the good Lord, man. I've never really killed an animal out here intentionally. You know, even when I see dead animals, I go around them, man. I don't I don't want that bad omens on me. I ain't a tree hugger or nothing, but I'm going to do whatever it takes 
to prevent from running over damn animal. Anyways, YouTube, we're rolling. We're on 59. Today's Tuesday, man. Today's Tuesday. Let's get to this money. I see y'all when we get to the pickup. Yes, sir. This country ass pickup. <laughs> Remember this load picked up like eight miles away from the farmhouse. So this is the kind of this is the kind of road y'all gotta be. This is the kind of road I gotta be dealing with y'all. Damn it, damn it, bar damn it. But yeah, uh, one and a half miles. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. I ain't stopping the money though. We <laughs> Genesis gonna make sure we get to the money. Get to that money, damn it. There you go. There we go, people. We're out here. We're holding it down, holding it down. Everybody got a pickup truck there. Somebody out here cheating with somebody's wife or something. Shoot. But yeah, man. This country ass road pickups. That's where it's at. You got the, the Tomex man. And then you got Hammer Tan. Yes, sir. Somebody got to get to the money. Yeah, sometimes when you come to a location like this, you gotta make sure you're at the right spot. So we are, y'all gonna see where we're supposed to be going. Man. I gotta make sure. I may have to back up, to be honest. You gotta, we gotta hit it wide, but we gotta hit it. Yeah, we gotta hit it wide, wide angle, bitch. Getting stuck without getting stuck in the line. Oh, shit. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Ooh. Hold on, then. Oh, baby Jesus. Bye. My bad, y'all. I'm, I'm watching the back right now. Yeah, we made it. We made it. I know these motherfuckers don't expect man. I know they don't expect me to go that way, y'all. I know they not. I know they don't expect me to go that way. I, I'm hanging tight to somebody tell me otherwise. Fuck that. This ain't, this ain't no oil fuel. I don't need to be taking oil fuel risk out here, damn it. I'm hanging tight to me. Which, which way, man? Which way am I turning? Shoot. I'm not turning that way. So, yeah, yeah, I can. Get that shit out your mouth. I'm not, I'm not turning that way, y'all. Uh, this, this is ridiculous. Y'all seen that route? So my main guess is hopefully they're gonna let me go straight and then somewhere turn left somewhere. Well, what we gonna see? If not, I try to turn around. Let's hope we don't get stuck. God, hey, but I'm only getting two thousand for this load, y'all. I'm only getting two racks for this load. <laughs> Lord have mercy, but it shouldn't be too heavy, man. It's supposed to be pallets. Look at this, but. We got, we got James Bond type of equipment out here on the road. Man, the Migos do not give a fuck by. The Migos don't care, y'all. The Migos do not care. The Migos do not care. All right, so I'm going to hang tight out here. Somebody got to tell me which way I'm going. So, yeah, yeah, uh. We're gonna go out here and find out just exactly what's going on, y'all. Uh, y'all hang tight. Hang tight. You know what? Y'all can watch watch the interaction, damn it. Hold on.
hold. The Miku told the cripple kid to hang tight, so we're hanging tight. We are hanging tight. Y'all seen that? Yeah, y'all seen that shit? Do y'all seen that? <laughs> Woo! 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 Yeah, that's pretty much what we had to do in here. But they got wood everywhere. Like that. So those are the things we're picking up. Pallets, y'all. Pallets. Supposed to be about 20,000 pounds. It's going somewhere in Tennessee. 600 and something miles. Originally, they were offering... I don't even know, but we got them to two bands, so. Came out to about 291. At this market rate, by the way, if you can get 291, <laughs> you're doing something, you feel me? Now, we're talking 291 in my pocket, too. We're talking about in the pocket, in the bank. Ching, ching. Oh, they got a nice. Uh, we got us a gringo out here. There goes the Dougie. We got a gringo out here. Yeah, gringo. Gringo. Ah, uh, nah, that's amigo. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, cut away. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me make a phone call. All right. It's never a good sign when the Migos ask you who you're picking up on the nigga. Let me make a phone call. Yeah, that's never a good sign, YouTube. That is never a good sign. I'm trying to do the Birdman hand rub. But damn it, but I don't know. You see, originally when, I, when we booked this low, it was first canceled. Right? They said, all right, it wouldn't be ready. And then they were like, nah, I never mind, be ready. I'm like, all right, well, shoot, still, let's get it. It was right down the street from the farmhouse, right? Usually, I got to drive to Houston to book a load out of Houston or Dallas because it's the closest Minneapolis environment, right? So, we're going to see. Stay tuned, YouTube. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to see if we're going to start with a bang. Or if we're just going to start with a fizz. Either way, by the end of the way, we're getting to the money. Because, actually, we got to be rolling with this. Because I got another load book living out of where I'm going, going down to Georgia. And you know what, Georgia? <laughs> Cornbread fan in Georgia. Cornbread fan in Georgia. Damn it, boy. I mean, y'all know, right? Y'all know. Y'all know. I'm a... Uh, I'm a PT. I'm a snow bunny slave, so it's all good. I let my PT women, but for, I'm also a booty connoisseur. You know, somebody that appreciate certain arts. And uh, Georgia, there's a whole <laughs> there's a whole lot of those arts in Georgia. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so we're gonna and a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money, a whole lot. Even a cripple kid can do that. A whole lot of money, a whole lot of money in Georgia. So we're gonna go to Georgia and we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna do a little experiment in Georgia. Which is short runs. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, y'all forgot. I've been promoting that with y'all like forever, but nobody wanna listen to the Quipper Kids. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna listen to my own damn self, man. Because right now, I got a 200 gallon tank. I'm looking at $1,400 give and take. So the most I've been able to put in my truck, if I gotta be honest with anybody, has been half a tank. Half a tank, that cost me $700 off the top. Depending on where I'm at, that $700 might get me anywhere between 110 to 135 gallons, right? 110 to $135, depending on where I'm at. And so because of that, shoot, Negroes have not been filling up. We'll be going out to anyway. I'm going to see what the Migos are planning. Let me see what they got for me. I'm going to hang tight. But the clock is ticking. Time is ticking. Time 
this money, <laughs> that detention about to start showing up after two hours. God, so like a whole damn lumber process and simplified, I guess. much what the Migos are doing, man. The wood come out of that big thing, slide through, drop, those still do it. And by the bing, by the boom, they go the Got somebody else back there doing something. I guess controlling that one. They go the wood shavings, exterior wood shavings, I guess extra stock up of lumber. Those are the one I'm picking up, the damn crates. Put the hurry the hell up. Finished product, two by twos. And, yeah, you know, the Migos got it pretty simplified, man. And get the job done, but nothing too damn fancy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, the Migos have spoken. They're not gonna load me to three o'clock. So you know what that means. I'm about to get back in Genesis. And uh, I'm gonna drop her ass off and go to the crib, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna drop off Genesis, go to the crib, you know, Get in between for like, I don't know, spend a little bit more time with the keto to slide out here by three o'clock. That's the only options I got. I'm also gonna let the people know y'all ain't getting your shit in the morning, so you're gonna probably get it by lunchtime. Tomorrow. You know, I am the baddest truck on any side of the Mississippi, but certain things got to be legal. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to run anything illegal out here just so I can make it on time when the pickup wasn't on time. Do you dig it? So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'll be right back. We're gonna drop off the trailer and we're gonna bob tail to the calm house and get in between. In between. Now we ain't got no green, but we're gonna go on ahead and get in between. <laughs> can you dig it? Can you dig it? Delivering the lumber yard, y'all. Delivering in the freaking lumber yard. Shit ain't easy. So the girl, gonna come out here, drop these. You know what I mean? Drop the trailer. Give me one second. One second, man. Let me see if I can give you the whole damn view. Hang tight, hang tight.
we have to back up a little bit you too now let's change the angles because we're about to drop the trip All right. Oh yeah, in case you are wondering, you know what, never mind. You're gonna find that eventually. Uh, lumber yard once again. Uh, we got we got the kingpin pool. We are uh, so we're just gonna drop it here. They're talking about three o'clock. The go say three o'clock, so we're gonna drop it here. We and then now, uh, you know, it is what it is. Then we're gonna come back once it's loaded. And right now we're going home because like I said, it's right down the street from the farmhouse, about 10 miles. We're gonna go back 10 miles and uh, we're gonna get the green to get in between with no green, damn it, in between. We're gonna see if we can get in between because I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't get it in between last night, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mama was a... Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, so, shit, what we gonna say? What we gonna say? What we can come up with, man. As far as I know, it works out. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, well, damn. There was a whole shift to happen right there. A whole shift. Well, let's hope they handle that good. But yeah, yeah, uh, we gotta, we gotta, we're going home. We're going home. We're gonna get in between the sheep. Get in between. Man, mama gonna be like, what the hell? You buy? I'm like, little boo, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, baby. 
Now, let me tell you a little something, a little secret to success out here. So there's a ways, there's different ways certain things run out here at the Blue Star. You, you dig? All right, so I'm gonna put you on them. So we got direct customers. That's what we call it. Like when one year after with a direct customer at the Blue Star, you get like seventy percent. If you come in and run off the low board, you you get sixty-five percent. Everybody knows that. I've never tried to hide that from nobody. And matter of fact, I'm probably one of the few people that even ever put y'all on game about that, right? Some of y'all ain't ever gonna admit it. Your life depend on it. That's fine. But I've always, I've always put you on game about that. If you come with a blue star, you get 65 percent. No and ifs or but about it. That's just how it goes, right? So with that being said, now you can get direct. You can get a, a, what is known as a what is what is a direct customer. Dedicated, my bad. Damn, but I can't even talk to them. <laughs> they thought of me getting in between them shits. Nigga got me going crazy. So, you can get dedicated lanes. You can get hop on a dedicated account with a blue star. Do things like this, FedEx, or whatever, right? And you end up with 65. I mean, you end up with like 70 to 72 percent. As you can see, you gotta do a whole lot of crazy things, you feel me? But uh, it is what it is, my boy. It is what it is. If y'all remember the grocery lane I was on, boy, that was crazy, crazy. I'm not even gonna tell y'all no lie. That was, whew, boy, that was crazy, crazy. I had to do a whole lot of unload a whole damn grocery, a whole damn truck by myself. I lost a lot of weight now, I ain't gonna tell you no lie, but oops, Lord have mercy, boy. But the bread was nice. The bread was nice. I don't know if y'all remember that. Some of y'all might or might not. But the bread was nice. You dig? The bread was nice. That's all I got to say. Anyways, um, I think on that lane before I bounce. Because they say I couldn't do no YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that was why I got off the account, man. That, that's why I had to get out the safe. I couldn't do no YouTube. I can't yell at my folks, man. <laughs> Yeah, my you you guys have let it become like part of my trucking experience. I had to share the journey with you, but they said I couldn't do it, so that's why I got up. You know, on to the next. It's a whole lot of money everywhere. You know, it's a whole lot of money everywhere. A whole lot of expensive ass fuel everywhere too. So don't forget that. But anyways, um, I think I think I might make a part two. But on this one, man, this is gonna be it, man. We're heading back to the we're heading back to the farmhouse. You know, this customer was able to have a pickup location right here, which which tells me, I'm not gonna tell you no lie, it works great. But I was supposed to be there at 9, 10 o'clock. I got there at 9, 10 o'clock. Now they're talking about they won't be ready to three. And they didn't have no damn, uh, I, I didn't have no internet, no service at all. So I couldn't hit up the, the agent or the broker, whatever you wanna call them and complain. So shoot. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home, spend a few more time with the kiddos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but mainly get in between. <laughs> so we came back. Another nigga started to load it up. So the way we're doing this, doing this, the way we're doing it is loading up. And then I think there's a pallet. And then we're pushing it in, you know what I'm saying? So we got a little bit of progress out here. So we should be done pretty soon, man. We should be done pretty soon. Yes, sir. That's it, man. <laughs> this is the life, boy. This is the life. Damn it, boy. This is the life. YouTube, you know what the deal is. You know what the deal is. <laughs> Thought you were going to catch me slipping, boy. The baddest man in the land. Oh, mama. There goes that man, you too. My videos are real, my videos are raw, my videos are authentic. You can't tell truck without putting chasing Mr. Hamilton in it, you too. I'm out.